Hey YouTube, what's up and welcome back to tutorial number 26 and in this tutorial I just want to talk to you guys about styling lists in HTML so the first thing that we have to do is create an unordered list on our web page so let's go ahead and ul and ending ul and inside here we're gonna have to make some list elements or list items and I guess we should probably just make a list of things that I'm interested in so the first thing that I'm interested in is games because I could play Xbox literally the whole day like that's how much I love gaming and then web design and web development just because if I wasn't interested in that you guys would not be able to watch any of my videos because they probably wouldn't exist and then I guess graphic design now I'm not a graphic designer and I'm probably no good at graphic design but I like to look at other people's work and just admire it for being good um, so now we go ahead and save that and run this in Firefox and you can see we get a normal plain old standard boring list with the normal plain old standard boring bullet point over there okay and now what we can do is we can actually change what bullet points go next to our list because we've gone through changing colors and all of that kind of stuff so I don't want to bore you guys with changing colors again we're actually gonna style that bullet point so go back to notepad plus plus and you'll go back to your style sheet and what we can do now is just select our unordered list and inside the curly braces over here go ahead and type in this property it's called list style type okay and that is what allows us to change what bullet points go next to our list so right now it's like the standard one but we can change this to circle and if we save that and then refresh it in our web page you get a nice empty looking circle instead of that bullet point and we could also change this to square and you get then get a fold in square take a look it's it's not a bullet point it's a fold in square um, but you know that's that's interesting and all but what if we wanted to make more customizable or more attractive looking bullet points you know instead of using like these standard boring ones okay what you could do then is use the list style style image property to set an image to sit next to our list style type or our list items okay so to put an image there you'll have to type in the word the word URL and in brackets and inside quotation marks type in the file that you want to use as your image okay so I've got an image in a folder called images and it's called smiley.png okay and when I save this and I go back to Firefox and click refresh you can see we now have a cool smiley next to all of our list items instead of those boring old bullet points so that's actually a lot cooler and a lot more interesting to look at when you go to a website and that's how you can make your lists a little bit more customizable but what happens if you wanted a list and you didn't want to have any bullet point next to the list at all okay what you could then do is again still list style type list style type and you could just set this equal to none and when you save this and then refresh in Firefox you'll see you have no bullet point there at all but as you can see our list still gets pushed up like towards the middle of the page and that's because by default a list always has padding on the left to allow for those bullet points to show so we can go back to our unordered list here and we can just set the padding equal to zero pixels and when we save this and refresh our list is now gonna jump over to the side of the window 
and look at that pretty cool hey so that's actually all I have for you guys in this tutorial and I hope you guys found it helpful so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial I would appreciate it a lot if you guys really hit that subscribe button and also don't be afraid to comment, like or share my videos. It's really going to help my channel grow. So thanks very much and I'll see you guys next time.